Good morning and welcome to another sunny day in Norfolk. Uh, we've woken up again and it's literally blue skies, the sun is out and oh man we're just so lucky with the weather over the last couple of days. But on the cars today it is day two of our four day trip around Norfolk and we'll be leaving where we stayed last night which is here in Kingsland at this beautiful Airbnb. Should be some coastal riding, what a great day to ride bikes. So we're gonna go and make some breakfast and a little bit of coffee and hopefully we'll be on the road uh, pretty quickly. Well, eventually we got away. Ambitions of uh, setting off at half past eight didn't go so well. But we're on the road, uh, 147k to go today and the roads are looking great. We lost Sam for a minute. He stopped and turned around on the road. Turns out he's trying to do a bike picture or something. Oh yeah, man, get that angle. Who doesn't like it when we stop, but he likes, he likes to keep momentum, you know, especially when we're only 16 kilometers into the ride. He stopped up there somewhere. I mean, Sam is taking quite a long time. You don't really like it when we stop, do you? No, I just went to the toilet. I was being efficient for the team. S Creek. We're about 45 kilometers in and I am starving. Like we didn't have much food for breakfast because we basically had to carry everything back from the supermarket. I think we're like less than 10 k's away from a potential stop location. You always know that you've got to eat with these kind of things, but sometimes the practicality of how often you can makes it tough, so. Well, that was insane. Did you know that was in the route? I knew it was, but I didn't know what it was. <laughs> it was amazing. Really hoping that we can grab a sandwich or something here. Because <laughs> I'm so hungry. I see the Well, we made it to the seaside in a little village called Wells. I don't know if we're gonna stop here for lunch. I think we'll maybe get an ice cream or something here. Ice cream. Sam is always the one who will go for the roguest option in a given situation. He's currently looking at the uh, the fish counter. He's got a cheeky little, cheeky little crab pot. Oh yeah. Freshly caught. <laughs> That's a, just such a rogue choice. Running run. Oh yeah. That's nice actually. Turns out, not that rugged choice. It's delicious. I kind of went town in there a little bit. Have you been in there? Yeah. Veggie sausage roll and a massive mozzarella and tomato sandwich. The somebody always warm tea is toasty. Yeah, that's basically what I've done. It's yeah. a signature. Stick it in the back that pocket. That is going to be warm for the next four hours. On yeah, the day stick like it in today. the back pocket and it'll be continually warm. Look at that. <laughs> well. Nice little stop in Wales. I've got my toasty in my grab bag. Grab bags are great bike packing equipment, by the way. You can get anything in those. That's a massive toasty. I think we've got 40 k's now to Comer, which is where we're gonna officially stop for some food. And then we've basically got 50 k's left or something like that after Comer. Breaking the day up a little bit to make it, yeah, a bit more manageable. Especially mentally, it helps getting a big chunk out of the way before you stop. 
and then you only have a short period to sort of push through to the end. So that's the plan. We got here really quick. Um, but we started, we took some country lanes and, uh, from Wales to Cromer, uh, came off the coastal road a little bit, just to make it a little bit more quiet. And it was quiet and the roads were a lot more rolling. So the last 20 Ks were on the coastal roads and I think we had a little bit of a tailwind as well. So we just flew in. It's five to two. We've only got 55 K left today to ride. So we're just about to enjoy fish and chips on Cromer Beach. Perfect. Just unnecessary. Uh, you don't know what it's like. <laughs> We, we mentioned a toilet break and a water fountain. Ah, uh, the last plan I heard was ice cream and I filled the water up. It's because it's quite negative on this vlog. <laughs> <laughs> we have been well fed in Comer. Fish and chips by the beach, ice cream, and uh, feeling a little bit heavier coming up this climb. <laughs> uh, I got a coma coma. How long have you been thinking about that? I, I, I yeah, a long time. <laughs> Got about 55k to go today, most of it on the coastal road down to Yarmouth, maybe with a bit of a tailwind, so hopefully pretty fast, but for the first time today I'm feeling well full <laughs> and uh, hopefully gives me some good legs for the way home. I wish I'd just been filming, Sam just decked it on the sand. Oh. You can see the remnants of the... <laughs> he thought, Absolutely my 25 mil <laughs> tyres will go right over that, no problem. You're the, you're the first one to bend it. Um, twice, oh. in the space of five minutes. Yeah, well, and you the, nearly fell off a minute ago. The other one was a good save, but this one... I think they're trying to dry their feet in the sand. I can see some logic behind this technique. Yeah, you, you look stupid, but if it works, <laughs> then I guess. So we've left the beach and we've got 25k to Great Yarmouth, which is where we're staying tonight. So hopefully, unless this headwind sticks around, we should be there in just under an hour. Let's go! Effort. That was a bit of the. Uh... <laughs> I'm not going to miss you out this time, Phil. <laughs> <laughs> that was a bit of a smash fest, that was. So I think we're on the uh, the Great Yarmouth Strip it's... at the moment. It's. Oh, uh... No, I didn't think places could be this bad. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm happy. Mm -hmm. 